Holding signs that said Sick Lives Matter and chanting Stop the Hate. Members of the Sick community were joined by elected officials and interfaith leaders for a rally in South Richmond Hill, Queens Wednesday. The group remembered 68-year-old Jasmir Singh. Worked as a construction worker in the initial days. Then uh, drive, he drove a cab to, to feed us, to give us education. Ending up losing his life on tarmac. Police say last Thursday around noon, a 30-year-old man got into a physical altercation with Singh after the two got into a crash on Van Wyck Expressway near 87th Avenue. Singh was taken to the hospital where he later died. He just hit my father so uh, intense, like so hard on his head, on his uh, two, two front, front teeth was taken out. The mayor previously tweeted, quote, Jasmir Singh loved his city and deserved so much more than his tragic death. On behalf of all New Yorkers, I want our Sikh community to know you have more than our condolences. You have our sacred vow that we reject the hatred that took this innocent life and we will protect you. Police say the road rage incident was not a hate crime, but the family wants police to investigate it as one. He used the, the word turban man. You know, I'm not letting you go home, according to my mom. This is a hate. Manny Sandu agrees. Police say the 19-year-old was attacked while on board an MTA bus by another passenger in what police have said was an unprovoked religious-based bias attack earlier this month. The suspect has since been charged with a hate crime and assault. Sandu says he no longer feels safe in his community. When I come out, I don't know if anybody person is going to be attack me again. Police have now arrested and charged Gilbert Augustin from Queens in connection to Jasmir Singh's death. He is facing several charges, including manslaughter, assault, and leaving the scene of an accident.